city of College Station this week is set to reduce the amount of sponsorship money it provides to Santa's Wonderland. Yeah, it's all part of the city's plan to use some of that money on other holiday themed projects. News 3's Tyler Hoskins has more. It was designed to uh, stimulate uh, participation during COVID and it was a great outdoor experience, a great logical uh, initiative. It was when we started this agreement with uh, Santa's Wonderland. For the last three years, the city has paid Santa's Wonderland $150,000. It's allowed hotels to link themselves to the holiday attractions website for free. And while the city plans to continue sponsorship, payments likely will be cut in half. The number of rooms that were actually uh, reserved through that system was much less than what we had expected. And I think the data that, should, we were, that was shared with us uh, indicated that uh, maybe that wasn't the best way for us to approach it. Hotels can still sign up under the new deal, but will pay an access fee. While some hotels have raised concerns, Brazos Valley Hospitality Association President Greg Stafford says he would like to see the city's savings used for other holiday activities. Those things are ultimately accretive to the notion of Christmas in Aggieland, and that, I think, is going to be the better way to go. So um, I, I do not believe um, smaller hotels, even those hotels that are close to Santa's Wonderland, are going to struggle. Stafford says Aggieland's hospitality industry needs Christmas to thrive, and this is a step in making College Station the place to be come the holidays. Santa's Wonderland will always be the core of that. Uh, we expect that, that there are ways to grow that opportunity bigger than it is, and that it's mostly about other things going on in, in uh, College Station that relate to uh, Christmas. In College Station, Tyler Hoskins, News 3. And at Thursday's City Council meeting, there's going to be more information shared about this Christmas uh, events that are going to be held in the City of College Station.